Hey guys, it's Gus, and we're going to talk momentarily about the Astro Lockbox and two very unsung items in there. And I've been buying them all up, and I imagine others have, have as well. And let me show you why. So when you go to the Astro Lockbox, and we're going to talk about the Astro Lockbox for like two seconds, but the majority of this video is going to be dedicated to why. So it comes with a legendary mount, it comes with trade bars, companion upgrade tokens, um, Alexandrite, which, <laughs> yeah, legendary, rare, epic insignias, stronghold vouchers, whatever. But what nobody's talking about is the epic, rare, and uncommon profession supplements. What? Well, Master Crafting is kind of a thing right now, but it's not... A major thing it used to be really really huge um, and with these drop there's two particular items that I focus on oh we're in consumables let's go to professions and let's type in calm and with these tinker calms they're 800 about 800 each they were much cheaper um, I'm not the only one buying them, by the way. And Tinker's Bounty. And let's look. And those are about a thousand each as well. Well, look at them. They say they give a 10% chance to re receive double results when a recipe is completed. Well, that's great. Uh, but it gets way better. So let's go to the professions and type in. Uh, wait let's look at the item I forget the name we're gonna look at distilled philosophers bounty plus one and distilled distilled let's just do that distilled philosophers bounty plus one um bounty there isn't any <laughs> and I know why they're too darn good and we're looking for the 30% ones and these are all the 10% ones okay and the uh, distilled philosopher's keep is the second so what it does is this one gives a 30 percent chance to refund materials in case of a failure so if you're making mc3 weapons and you fail you have a one in supposedly a 30 percent chance of getting your materials back which is great because you're pumping a million diamonds into them right and then the other one is 30 percent chance of dab hand which gives you a um 30 percent chance of giving you double results now dab hand doesn't work on final products like weapons but it works on final products that are reagents and i don't nobody's selling any um let me show you what it looks like this will refund and this is the dab hand these are extremely important for master crafters and th these are the plus one versions so they give you higher focus and higher proficiency and dab hand is amazing so if you have like a, a 20 percent recycle um crafter plus this you have a 50 percent chance of getting your materials back if you fail but you have to use one of these and these are expensive the only way to make them is with essence of calm how do you make an essence of calm well you need makers calm you need tinkers calm you need makers bounty or you need tinkers bounty that's why I showed you those two items and I'm gonna show you watch this let's go to a notoriously ornament let's go to a notoriously uh, ornament is that spelled right God, fanged or feathered ornament. They are a complete bitch to make. Uh, pardon my French. So if you want to make a feathered ornament, you need four brilliant beads, three jute macrames, and twelve brilliant pinions. Well, how do you make jute macrames? Well, I'll tell you. They take fifteen Samaritan jutes. Uh, let me just show you. Jute. And the next thing we'll look up is, so to make these, you need 15 of these. And then if you want to make the bead, 
um, bead, for only a bead, you need 12 Bateri prisms, you need one red rouge, and you need four scintillating glass. Well, what do you need to make scintillating glass? Well, in order to make scintillating glass, you need a rosphine, a raw rubellite, and a gold wire. Well, how do you make a gold wire? Now, mind you, every step of this way, they can fail. You need two shark oils and two wrong ingots. Well, gold ingots, how do you get gold ingots? You need three gold nuggets and one aqua regalia. Well, how do you get gold nuggets? Well, you need two gold ore and a rock salt. Jeez. Well, let's go back to the aqua. How do you get the aqua? You need, in order to get the, um, you, in order to make that, you need an aqua fortis, a niter, and a cell almanac. Well, how do I get an aqua fortis? You need a loom, an oil vitriol, and a niter. So in order to make the aqua fortis, which you can fail, you need an aqua fortis to make an aqua regalia, which can fail, which you need to make the um, gold ingot, the gold wire, all that. So many fails along the way just to make one simple thing, right? An ornament. Oh, poop. There we go. So if you want to make the feigned ornament or the feathered ornament, which are, is one component needed to make the weapons, you have about seven different fail possibilities along the way. So if we're making a feathered ornament, I'm just going to show you how good that dab hand is. So let's say for our artisan we use 10%. So this one has higher stats, but you get a 15% chance of um, recycle. I would use that one. Who gives? Nobody at this level gives a shit about the commission cost when it gets to this expensive. And then for the two, of course, we'll use the gone hammer. So now we only have a 74% chance of crafting it. And, but if we use this, right? It goes from 74% to, oh, that was for the, um, sorry, that was for the um, focus. So, wait a sec, why is the focus so high? 74, oh, that's a lot of focus. So, it went from proficiency, we wanted to do, okay. So, it goes for, uh, 74 and 11% chance of a focus it gives you the plus one. So now we get a 30% chance of getting double results and we get a 21% chance increase of getting um, a plus one. So we could, in essence, get, instead of getting two feathered ornaments, get four feathered ornaments. We have a 300% chance higher than we did previously of getting it. Um, do I want to make these? Shit. Well, I don't know if it will work. Let's just go and do it. Uh, I don't master craft anymore. I might again, but let's just go and craft them, shall we? Um, God for science, right? Jeez. And this one, I can make one more. Wait. Oh, I, di I didn't have enough. Okay, I only had um. Yeah, feather and ornament. I got enough to make another one. Don't I? Oh, did I make the wrong one? Did I make the, um... Rush task. And I... Okay, here we go. So, if I got lucky, I have two... I have four, but if the dab hand worked... Oh, shit. I used those 200k materials, too. The, um... <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Fail... And we got a feathered ornament. So we should have, wait, which artisan, artisan skill was activated? Must have been the recycle. Well, let's, before I collect it, let's look in the inventory. <sighs> Good Lord, what did I mess up? Um, so it's called feathered ornament, correct? No fanged, what was it called? 
let me just make sure the name of it it was feathered ornament maybe I don't have any in my inventory because if I collect it and I already had two in there I only show two so I don't know if I activated recycle or um, let's go in feathered 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 we got the fanged we don't have the feathered so let's see shall we if I can even collect them okay let's see it's gonna be a uh, oh so instead of gotten two we got four because you're only supposed to get two and the first one failed and then I got four so the fail was unlucky because we had the 71% chance of success which is notoriously wrong by the way everybody complains that those tooltips are those percentages are so wrong but um I used that to get doubled results on the fanged ornament which saved me an oil vitro a nitro a niter and a two alum another niter two sal almanox three gold nuggets two gold ores one rock salt two shark oils a raw rubelet a raw sphere four sen um four a red rouge 12 battery prisms yeah it's definitely worth it um and you saw how much they cost in the auction house right they're very expensive so the crafters can either craft these to sell them or they can use them for their own stuff so we got the um the one most people are going to they're going to use this one on the high level crafting and they're going to use this on the final product like the um weapons so we had the philosopher's bounty and keep the same they were again um distill bounty and keep which is none of these bounty or keep okay this one the non plus one is 150k a plus one makes your proficiency go from 70 to 90 which a lot of people don't think a lot but when you're crafting tons of this stuff that extra 20 adds up and how do we make these distilled philosopher bounties well let's take a look let's craft one um oh yeah i'm not i'm in the workshop so still about was it the bounty one that we wanted the dab hand i think it was that one yeah this is the one we want so in order to do it we need essence of calm we need effervescent water i'll buy some effervescent waters well actually let's see how much they are all this stuff in the auction house if you're to buy it an alkali a Cholton spring water those are dirt cheap Cholton Cholton spring times three right times one and then alcohol oh wait there's more one myrrh m y r r h the effervescent effervescent times three right yep and an essence of calm so let's see how much this stuff is real quick and this is assuming you don't go get it yourself so we're gonna go professions we need one alkali so we're just looking alk and oh dang chalk so those are right about 15 16 thousand each so alkali is 16 thousand one two sixteen Chilton spring water. We need three of those. Those are cheap, by the way. Chilton, I think they are, anyways. Yeah, they're 400 each. So we'll go 1200 for the three. So 1200. And we got a myrrh. We only need one of. M Y R R H. These should be pretty, pretty cheap as well. I think. Mer, yeah, it's really cheap. So it's 60, 660, right? Big deal. That's insignificant. We'll just put a thousand. And then a professor water, which they're a little spendy, but they're not too bad. They used to be really bad, I think. Effervescent. 
So for five, so forty five hundred each. Let's just go and even five thousand because most of these are, those are six thousand. These are five thousand. So we'll go, we'll go on um, five thousand each. So that's fifteen thousand. So not including the um, maker's calm, we got thirty one, thirty two, thirty three thousand two hundred. Thirty three thousand two hundred. Now to make the calm, we could buy it. Wait, we need the purple one. Philosopher's calm. No, that's not it. Perf oh yeah, I'm in here. Calm. Essence of calm is what we need. Yeah, we need an essence of calm. To get the essence of calm. Essence of calm. We need. We're gonna go and go um, twelve of these, which they're about a thousand each. So twelve thousand. So that puts us at forty-five thousand. And myrrh, which is dirt cheap, with those were six hundred. So that puts us at forty-six thousand eight hundred. And volcanic salt will be dirt cheap, if I'm not mistaken. And volcanic volcanic salt yeah these are dirt cheap they're 98 900 yeah they're 100 each so that's not even so it costs about 47,000 to make the distilled that will give you a 30% chance of giving you double results and increase the chance of success by about 10% uh, they're so darn good and they're actually quite easy to make the hardest part to get is the um because you can farm everything else through guild marks but you can't really farm um the the calms well they're available in the gond event but generally speaking you have to buy them from the zen market or you can get them in astral lock boxes or you can get the profession sum up supplements from the um from the um, Gond as well from the su supplement supplement pack. Uh, so what I'm saying is, is these if you're selling them for like four or five hundred each, yeah, too long didn't read right. If you're selling them for that cheap, you're really um, not doing yourself any favors. I would I would rather give them to a master crafter in my guild than sell them for five hundred, which is a very insignificant amount. Because your master crafter will be, will use the hell out of these, um, or if you're into master crafting or you're becoming new at it, you can craft them yourself. They're very much worth it. There's no way I'd ever make a fanged ornament without using these. They're that darn good. Okay, there you go. Stay classy, everyone. See you soon.